Welcome to our first virtual summit. We're excited to have you here and we hope you enjoy your week. I'd like to start by revisiting some of our history. This is a chart I showed first in our Amsterdam summit last year. It reflects what's happened, where we've come from, also shows where we're headed and some of the progress we've made against that. Three indicators shown, contributions, marketplace SKUs, and integrated solutions. Let me first focus on contributions. We focused on trying to, so you can see the numbers have, have grown from very sing, single digit the first few years. Uh, we are now almost at 150 with 41 last year. We're focusing on accelerating technology introduction now. And you can see some of what we've accomplished. You saw the technology symposium process maturing. We're excited about that. We've also expanded the role of the incubation committee to forecast our technology needs in the future allow us to focus. We've improved our joint development process with our development teams to enable them to take ownership of that with OCP supporting and providing a seamless transition into our contribution process. And we're simplifying our IP process. Despite the fact we've got broader technologies that's more complex, we're looking at ways to reduce the administrative overhead and hope soon to have an updated governance document can be released to reflect that. Now let me focus on marketplace SKUs. In 2015, we put much emphasis on growing adoption. First thing we had to do is create a, a usable form of the contributions, which really are products built on the contributed specs. And you can see there, it's a rapid growth. We're now up to almost 150. Our focus now is to ensure a robust supply chain for the entire market from uh, enterprise telco up through hyperscale. They have a, a diverse set of demand profiles as well as support needs. So we launched an effort to create a, a channel manufacturing process to support channel needs for telco and enterprise and, and have the initial participants well into that process and hope to be able to move forward with that once the global environment stabilizes. And lastly, integrated solutions. We've learned in the past that simply having available parts doesn't solve the problems in our enterprise and telco space. We needed integrated solutions, combinations of both hardware and software that's usable. And so these integrated solutions are actually uh, SKUs or products or bundles that can be ordered as bundles. We now have 138 uh, software badges, which means the software has been certified on OCP hardware. And we now have 27 integrated solutions. And that's anywhere from a bundled network solution all the way up to a complete integrated rack and software. And, and finally, uh, what, what we decided we have to do there is really make consumption uh, and use easy. So we've added functions in our enhanced, uh, in our marketplace to uh, allow you to sort by software or hardware. Uh, and, and what that's really, and also focus on trying to improve our data analytics, which allows our consumers and our, our community to better identify solutions to their needs. And you'll also see this week our virtual expo hall. What's exciting about that, that's available year round. Okay, so you can go to that as, as our booth owners and Expo Hall booth owners update uh, their deliverables and their, their capabilities and their offerings. You can see that through the year. I'd also like to focus on collaboration. We've really put much emphasis on that over the past two years. This shows just three examples of what we have and what we've accomplished. There are many more in progress at different stages. First is Telecom Infra Project, or TIP. We work with them to, to share both test capability and results and badges between the two community. Open Network Foundation is clearly an opportunity for us to provide uh, network bundle solutions. And you can see uh, in, in their booth this week, six examples of where there's open software running on open compute product. Lastly, the Cloud Security Industry uh, Summit, or CSIS. 
which is a group of cloud service providers looking for best in class security solutions, which aligns very well with our security project. So we're working together to find those solutions. Again, these are three examples. There are many more in progress uh, and we continue, we will continue to emphasize this. Lastly, let me focus on our latest uh, IMS market forecast. IMS has merged to become now part of Omdia. And as you recall, we do this for a couple of reasons. One is to give us an objective view of our progress. And secondly, as importantly, is to shine a light on any gaps or challenges we need to address. And as a reminder, all the numbers you may see out of this really reflect on adoption beyond our, our board company. So they do not include Facebook, Microsoft, or Rackspace adoption because it's a better indicator for us of how it's actually been uh, run, uh, distributed through the world. Uh, you can see an in-depth discussion of this data uh, Wednesday afternoon, 1.30, uh, by Cliff Brosner, urge you to, to attend that. So what we found this year is there's 40% year-over-year growth from 2018 to 2019 with healthy market maturation. So we're enthused by that. We also saw that adoption continues to move into telco and enterprise with significant momentum. But they emphasized again that we do need to focus on the enhanced supply chain. Continued growth is dependent upon that. So in wrap up, let me say, I, I hope you see this week that OCP is adapting quickly to the current global challenge to enable a virtual global community. So I urge you to take advantage of the week, look at all the exciting opportunities we've taken to try to make it as interactive as possible. The Experience Center, the Expo Hall and, and others. These are tools we hope to use in the future as part of our processes and we welcome any input. Thanks for again for coming. Have a good week.